President Obama is amazing, but the Democratic Party must respond to the Southern strategy 24-7, reaching out to people each and every day, every day. Democrats managed to avoid losing the dozens of House seats the president's party traditionally loses in its first midterm election. While the party lost control of the House, Democrats increased their majority in the Senate, and they made historic gains in several state races. Having a strong message focused on protecting democracy and a woman's bodily autonomy, that certainly played a big part in keeping the thumping to a minimum. But having a certain former president as the closer, as the closer, also did not hurt. A few weeks ago, 14 members of Adam Laxoff's family announced they were supporting Catherine Cortez Masto. 14. Think about that. Think about that. Now, now let, let, let me say this. You know, we, we all might have a crazy uncle, you know, that, that kind of goes off the rails. But if you've got a full Thanksgiving dinner table, <laughs> and they're all saying you don't belong in the U.S. Senate, when the people who know you best think your opponent would do a better job, that says something about you. John's opponent said the decision about whether to have an abortion should be made by, quote, women, doctors, and local political leaders. Really? I mean, what, what, are you going to petition the mayor? Are, are you calling the sheriff? City council member? School board? Who exactly should tell you when to start a family? You should make that decision. And if that's not worth 15 minutes of your time, the amount of time it takes to vote, I don't know what is. Former President Barack Obama hit the trail in the battleground states of Nevada, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Georgia in the final stretch of the midterm election. And at every stop, the former president drew a contrast between conspiracy theorists and Democrats, mobilizing voters with the energy and the humor we saw during his own candidacy and presidency. Joining us now is someone who is... There needs to be a thank you campaign. Um, thank you to President Obama. And thank you to all of the Democrats, independents, and those Republicans who voted for the Democrats, uh, and celebrate, celebrate, uh, and uh, explain to them what their vote meant, what it's doing, what it will do in the future, and keep on having a conversation, daily conversation, reaching out to people each and every day, and reversing the Southern strategy. We should have two more Democratic Senate seats. North Carolina and Wisconsin. Mandela Barnes had what, 49.5% of the vote? And he, he lost by what, uh, a little more than 26,000 votes? But they used racist ads against him, according to Cornell Belcher, okay? You can check out that video I have on that. Then also, uh, Judge Breesley, right? They're in North Carolina, same thing. That seat should have won also. And uh, thank God, Reverend Warnock, Senator Warnock was able to win, and um, despite the Southern strategy, despite voter suppression. So reaching out, one race, human race, all human, uh, we're all the same boat together. Everyone has a right to food in their stomach, clothes in the back, shoes on the feet, shelter ahead, free health care for all, like uh, most industrialized nations, right? Free state college, uh, total student loan forgiveness for public and private loans, it doesn't matter if someone's uh, parents are billionaires, all right? Um, and uh, universal child care, right? A decent wage, uh, housing, all these things we need. People need that to have better lives. And by the way, that's what Christ requires in, in Matthew chapter 25, uh, in, um, in Luke chapter 10. The pastor messed up, the deacon messed up, the Samaritan was the one who showed compassion, took actions to make life better. Um, hey, we're all this together. Let's make life better. Christ put it this way, I'm coming that they may have life and they have more abundantly. In the second half of John 10.10, 10, everyone has a right to life, liberty, speed, happiness. Everyone on this planet and on this earth. Thank you for being on my YouTube channel, One Race, Human Race, All Human. TikTok channel, One Race, Human Race, All Human. And Instagram page, 
One Race Human Race All Human on this Friday, December 9th, 2022. God bless you. God keep you.